everyone. Lori, how is everybody doing? I'm just putting on my gloves here. I have a sugar skull cut out here in front of me that um, I am going to paint today. I thought it might be fun to do a video of it. I don't know how it's going to come out, but I'm going to give it a go. I've never done one of these. I like sugar skulls. I just think they're cool. I don't don't really know why. I just like them. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and paint it and um, post this video if it comes out well. And I have a lot of colors I'm going to use. I just have some colors in front of me that's already mixed up that I want to use. I didn't really um, want to mix any new paints today, so I'm going to try to use what I have on hand. I have a lot of, seems like a lot of like pink, orange, and some reds. I will list everything down in the description box for you. The paint recipe um, for all of these is 80, 40, 30. I use a mixture of paint, Floetrol, and some water till I get to the consistency that I like. It looks like I'm using mostly Artists Loft Paint and the Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. I'm going to put some of that in there as well. And then I have a couple Liquid Tex Basics paints that I'm also going to use. So I have this upside down to me. So um, when I'm recording, it's actually facing you, but it is on my turntable here. So I am going to spin it. We'll see what we get. So thanks for joining me today. If you have not already, I'd super appreciate if you could have subscribed to my new channel here on YouTube. I'm going to have a lot of fun videos coming out. I have a lot of great ideas and some good stuff um, coming. So if you could subscribe, like I said, I'd appreciate it. Hit the like button if you like the video. And here we go. I'm just going to go with the flow. So right now I have my paints here in these bottles. I'm going to go ahead and just give it a shake. Shake them up a little bit. I'm going to use them. I haven't painted in a few days, so I'm going to... These have been sitting. So I want to give them a good shake before I use them. I'm not sure where I really want to start here. I'm kind of thinking maybe I ought to start in the middle and work my way out. There's so many areas that are cut out. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's see what happens. Who knows? I think it's going to be pretty cool. These are my, my paints. Uh, I need to clean my bottles. <laughs> Some of these are a little bit, um, they're getting kind of gunky at the tips. So need to take a little time and clean them up. I am considering buying new bottles anyway. So I might just do that. Use what I got in here. Then use new bottles. Well, these bottles are good, but they do tend to clog up on me. And like this. Like this one here. I was just about to use so the paint doesn't want to come out. Uh, let me just bear with me a moment. I'm going to get something just to poke in here. I have a toothpick here. I'm going to try to clear out the hole here. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're good to go. The white paint that I laid down there, I forgot to mention, is a house paint. house paint that I'm using is actually just mixed with some GAC 800 and I do put a little bit of water in it just for consistency so that's the way I like it and it works for me. Everybody has different recipes and techniques so you gotta find what works best for you but if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments section be more than happy to help you out if I can. You can answer any questions or Anything that you're wondering about, I'll try and give a give you my best advice. So that's some copper, and then I put some gold. 
Now I'm going to use a cell activator, but it's been sitting, so I'm going to shake it. It's in my bottle here. I'm going to use a black cell activator, which is actually uh, Amsterdam Oxide Black. recipe for that um, is three to one full trowel and paint so I will go ahead and add that now and then excuse my head while I put it down here and blow on this all right let's just give it a second here and see if anything starts to develop Like I said, I didn't plan this out at all. I'm just kind of going with it. Being October and all, I believe today is October the 5th. So I'm going to go ahead and do something Halloween-ish. Sugar skulls, some people like them all year long. Obviously, skulls are also for Halloween and the big... Day of the Dead celebration, Mexico. So there are year-long sugar skull fans all over the world. So this part's really cool. Um, I have a lot of black kind of just sitting there. I'm gonna blow on that a little bit. Let's see if that does anything. I got a little more off, but not a lot. I'm not too, too worried about these holes. Most of them are pretty large, but I'm just going to put this toothpick in here to clean this out a little. I did not tape the back of this. There's way too many holes and stuff, so I just figure it'll look cool just like this. I'm not really too concerned with what the back's going to look like. Well, all right. Let's move on. Let's let that sit a little longer. It might do a little something in the middle there. I think, uh, let's see. Let me switch this up a little bit. Just playing with my colors here. This is um, Liquid Tex Basics Cadmium Red Medium Hue. I'm going to put that down here on the bottom first. Last time I did not use that first, so. I feel like I want a little bit more. I'm going to put it too close here, but I, I'm trying to get in here as well. So it's a little tricky with all these cutouts. I'm just popping an air bubble I have here. There we go. This is a magenta. Oh, actually, you know what? I want to put my, my house paint down here first. Put some white down on the red. Now we have magenta. I love magenta and orange together. It's so pretty. This is actually a vermilion, which is a really pretty orange. This is artist's loft orange. Um, well, if I can get it out of the bottle, yeah, there we go. Put that down on the vermilion. And I'm going to just use some gold. And the black cell activator. Actually, you know what? Um, get this air bubble here first. Okay. There we go. Put then I get another air bubble in my cell activator. That's funny. Okay. Ooh, pretty. I like getting these colors together. They're kind of neat, huh? 
All right, moving on. Ooh, kind of a large surface to do. I mean, it's not huge, but there's a lot of, it takes time because there's a lot of, um, a lot of cutouts and little sections. So you kind of got to do section by section. So it takes a while. But it's fun. I like doing stuff like this. I like doing things that are different. And I like to share it with you guys. So let me know what you think at the end. Let me know if you like this. Let me know if you think I should do more like this. I'd appreciate that. I, I really do love hearing from you. Any suggestions on anything I might have left out of the video? I'd appreciate that too. Because sometimes when I'm busy painting, I forget to mention something. Unintentionally, because I'm busy painting, you know. So sometimes it's hard to think and paint and figure out what you're doing all at the same time. <laughs> all right, let's see what this does. There we go. Oh, that's so pretty. I like that orange and copper together are really pretty. There's just an air bubble here. Little tiny one. At least there was. <laughs> Not no more. All right, and then I kind of just look at it, see if I'm liking the way it's coming out. This section over here is really cool because more cells are starting to develop. Um, I'm going to blow a little bit right here. That's cool. Okay. Hmm. A good amount of paint right there, but that's okay. It's cool because it's mixed with copper and gold. Some orange. A little bit of pink. Pretty. Yeah, it's really neat. All right, so I'm gonna gonna move on. I think I'll go up here now. Uh, this is um, one of the other colors I've been using: Liquid Text Basics Quinacridone Magenta. So that's what this one is. really pretty it's like a deep a deeper magenta the other magenta i'm using is artist's loft brilliant magenta which is really a bright magenta that's it right there so you can see the difference it's pretty bright this is copper artist's loft copper deco art 24 karat metallic gold from the Deco Art Extreme Sheen paint. Those are some pretty fun paints. If you haven't tried them, you should, because you would probably love them. Mm, yeah, I think I'm just going to put, let's see, orange. And then some black cell activator. <laughs> I say that a lot. <laughs> oh, cool. This is a blast. So, look at this. It's coming out really cool. Give you a close-up at the end, of course, when I'm all done. I'll bring the uh, phone down. And you can get a nice close-up of the whole thing and get a better view. So, 
this is going to take a little bit of time. I understand if you'd like to fast forward, you can. I'd appreciate if you watched the whole video, if you could. But I do understand everybody's got stuff to do. If, if you can hang out with me during the whole video, I appreciate it. Uh, definitely fall around here. It's much cooler. It was down into the 40s last night. So it's getting chilly. But it's beautiful. We've had mostly sun and cool weather, but it's still really pretty. All the leaves are changing, so it's really pretty. So, if you're wondering where I am, I'm in New England and it's October. Things are changing. All right, this is, uh, let's see, I'm going to go with red here. I think I'm going to just, for the heck of it, I'm going to put some gold down at the bottom instead of on the top. I'm going with the flow. I think this is coming out really neat. Thanks for hanging out with me. Appreciate it. I like it when you guys leave comments. I feel like, uh, we're, you know, Doing this together. Whew. Neat. So there's a little tiny bit here. Let me bring it up for you. Maybe you can see it. Hey, um, right here. A little tiny piece of wood. That is not covered with paint, so instead, me trying to get that little tiny section, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dab a little paint on there with my finger just to kind of fill it in like that. That I just used some orange that had fallen down on the mat here. Geez, I'm actually wondering how I'm gonna do that rose now that I'm looking at it closer. Huh. Well, that's a good question. <laughs> See, that's what happens. I like not planning things out. I like to just do it and figure it out as I go. Uh, let's see. Let me think. I'm wondering, boy. Hmm. I'm going to do right here. We shall see what happens. Any of you guys live in New England? Leave me a message. Let me know. Where are you? You live in the Northeast? You get to see all these beautiful leaves changing? It's absolutely beautiful this year. Last couple years were not quite as bright in the colors, I felt. So this year, I feel like there's a lot more color in the leaves. They're beautiful. Just get out into nature because it does wonders for you. I enjoy it. I like walking. Oh, pretty. I don't know. I'm wondering how I'm going to get in there. Do every little bit of the... Every little section individually. Huh. That's a good question, huh? I don't know if I should just paint it. You know, like... With my hand, or if I should 
try and do this for all of them. I mean, for that whole section. Hmm. Oh, actually, I think I'm going to use orange instead of pink. I'm not going to put a ton of pink here because obviously this is a very small area. It's working out nicely, though. Um, I think there are some drips here. That's kind of cool. They're like multicolored drips. I think that's what I'm going to do. At least for some of it. Because I don't think there's any way I'm going to be able to get all of that. Plus, that would just make the video extra long. And it's long enough. Or at least it will be when I'm done. So who likes Halloween? Huh? I don't know. I've, I like Halloween, but I'm not, it's not my favorite holiday, I gotta say. I like it, but it's okay. I like the decorations. I love watching all the, the people... The way they decorate their houses and stuff is pretty cool. Some people work and get into it and it's like, you know, they wait all year for it. And it's awesome. See, I'm like that with Christmas. So that didn't work out so good. That looked just like bleh. So I think from now on, I'm going to just dab it with the drips because I think it's it looks just about the same, actually. It's too thin of an area to really do much with it. Ooh, it looks pretty cool. Okay. Well, I'm liking this a lot. This is actually looking pretty neat. I love it. I love it. And I love what I do. All right, so now let's try and go, well, let's see. I think I'm gonna do this little area here first. go trying to go a little quicker so that it doesn't uh, make the video any longer than it needs to I apologize if it's super long I'm just trying to go kind of quick here hmm. that's pretty another spot here though that cool oh this is so neat wait till you see it when I give you the close-up oh I think you're gonna really like it of course you can do this with any colors you want I was thinking of trying to do like a a um, black base and then just painting but I wanted to make it more colorful. I felt like the black base was just going to be too dark, so I, I didn't go that route, but I do have a couple more of these that I can paint, so I might do that on the next one. Who knows? <laughs> we shall see. Okay. White kind of ran over that a little bit. 
Let's just take some of this paint here. That's cool looking though. Hmm. It's pretty, but I'm not loving that spot right there. I think I might go over that. Yep, yep. That's what I'm thinking. All right. So let's see. Got just some white. This is some red. And now the brilliant magenta and a little bit of orange. I got way too much paint right here, but that's okay. More than I wanted anyway, but it'll be fine because it all blends together. neat just trying to blow these other sections kind of back into that one so it looks more blended instead of like it's just sitting on top of it awesome i'm liking this okay now oh, what do we got what's this is the conacridol magenta I'm going to see if I can do a bigger area here. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Now, this is, uh, where's my vermilion? And then... A little magenta. That's the brilliant magenta. Some copper and then gold it is quite a air bubble here. We'll pop this bubble. There we go. Black cell activator right in the center. Boop. And there we go. Whoa, pretty. Wow, pretty, pretty. I had the box a little bit, my uh, turntable a little bit further away from me than normal, so I could get the camera over it, so I'm kind of leaning, <laughs> leaning into it. This is pretty. This one section right here. I'm trying to blend a little bit more. Oh, that's better. Very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. All right. So I think I'm going to put a little magenta up there. This is the brilliant magenta. I feel like uh, I want a couple spots up there on that cutout rose to be a little bit brighter. a few dabs of the brighter pink I think will make a difference and then I'm going to add a little gold too all right Okay, that looks good. Well, this is neat, I gotta say. I like this. I like this so much. All right, this is uh, the Cadmium Red Liquitex Basics. Cadmium Red Medium Hue. Vermilion. I know I don't have to keep telling you what I'm putting down, but you might want to know because if you see a section that you really like, maybe. Oh, I forgot my white. That's all right. We'll put it down now.
go see <laughs> my bottle had a little bloop there because it has a little bit of a clog that's okay it's all good all right that's a big old pile of paint huh you should probably go this way with it maybe Ugh. okay i'm gonna try to blow like upside down Oh, pretty. Ooh, that's nice. Use my head. Wow. That's really pretty. There's a lot of gold right there that's just shimmering away. This did not make it quite all the way over to the edge, so I'm going to pick up some paint on my my drippings and just dab it a little bit. Kind of bring it over. Here we go. Whoops! I didn't mean to blow that hard. That's okay. Oh, good. That's cool. All right, so I just kind of blew a little bit here, tried to get that to blend over the parts that I dabbed so it looked more blended. A little area here that I just blew a little too hard. I want to try to, oh, that's cool. Okay, it's like a little kiss when you take a balloon and go bloop. <laughs> All right, I just want to look at this for a moment. Wow, this is really neat. All right, let's turn it this way. I'm probably going to have to dab right in here too. Like, um, there's a lot in this cutout section because that's going to be difficult to blow around. So I think I will probably do that too. My fingers dab it around a bit instead of trying to paint in there. Oh my goodness, I gotta clean my bottle. <laughs> I only meant to put a little bit of orange and kind of It all came squirting out on me, but that's okay. No big deal. section mm. that's gonna be really pretty i can tell already there's a lot of cool cells right there awesome i got these cool cool drips on my mat it's got a lot of gold and copper in there it's really pretty that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna dab this around the eyes and so i'm kind of Finger painting, if you want to call it that, I guess. <laughs> awesome. This is awesome. I got to say, I'm liking these colors. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this sugar skull. If you're interested in buying it, email me or leave a comment below. I can ship it right out to you. Halloween is here. Why not have a unique decoration for your house, right? Like I said, I have a few more I'm going to do, so I'm going to end up keeping one for myself. But I'm willing to sell this if you're interested. Like I said, just uh, my email's um, in the description box. And also, um, if like I said, you could also just leave a comment if you want. I will get back to you. This is really pretty though. I, I love the um, 
the copper and the gold, the pink, the orange and the black. It's just a cool combination. It's really neat. There's a ton of holes here, um, but I think I'm gonna, I don't know. I think I'm gonna resin it rather than just use a spray varnish. There's a little area right here. There's a big puddle of paint. Just wanna spread it around a little. Oh, that's better. That's cool looking. Now it has like this neat design to it instead of just a puddle. It's cool. Very cool. Um, okay, let's go over here. This is really cool. <laughs> that was a weird voice. <laughs> Who was that? I don't know. I'm extra silly. Extra silly. Silly's good. Okay. Copper. I'm loving the copper and the gold. I keep putting it everywhere because it's really cool looking. Really, really cool. <clears throat> Ooh, that's very pinky. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, man, so pretty. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had a little bit of congestion today. So now I'm going to do the same over here, this one. Wow, this color is really fun to paint. You know, I like be in the store and you just see something, you're like, ooh, that's cool. What can I do with that? But when you're looking at it or when you're buying it, you're like, I'm not sure, but I know I like it. You don't really have quite a vision for it yet. That's kind of how I was with these. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I think I'm just going to paint it and see what happens. I think they're really cool. These cutouts. Like I said, it's time consuming because of all the little separate sections, but it's neat. I like that because it's like each little section is its own little piece of artwork to me. So... I think it's neat. Neat, neat, neat. There's like 100 little paintings in one. <laughs> you know, when you look at it, you get to see all the different areas. I think it's really cool. There was a big white there that I wasn't enjoying. Okay, there's something going on right here that's just not quite right to me. That's why I keep going back to it. Okay, I think that's better. We'll see. It changes as it, the, the, there's a good amount of paint right there, so it keeps changing because it's spreading out, moving and drying. And every time I look back up there when I thought I liked it, it changed again. Right, let's do well let's do this little area here. This is actually going a pretty um it's going along pretty well. I mean it's taken a while, but it's not taking quite as long as I had thought it might. It's actually going very well. Ugh, my paint. Okay. Cell activator is a little bit older too. I wasn't sure how that was going to cooperate today, but it's actually working very nicely. Paint 
he did not want to come off the stick. <laughs> Probably because I didn't have very much on it. Uh, orange. What did I put that? I forget what color I put down. I'm just kind of grabbing stuff randomly. I got no special order to this at all. Just playing. That section there is kind of small. I'm going to see if I can do a little bit there, though, instead of my finger, because if I did it all up there, I'd like to see if I can get some cells in that area. myself up. I'm always saying, ooh, cool, or, ooh, pretty. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Enjoying myself, what can I say? All right, red, white, orange, um, copper, and a little bit too much paint, but that's okay. That side came out awesome, so this side should be fine. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's really neat. Pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, moving on. Let's go over here. Wow, we're doing really good here. I'm cruising along. I'm happy about this. This is cool. I don't know how long this video is at the moment. I haven't checked, but it feels like about a half an hour, but I have no idea. Not really in any rush but I'm just trying to speed it along a little bit for your sake that's all okay you ready oh pretty <laughs> Hey, I'm the only one here. I gotta entertain myself somehow. It was bad enough I'm standing here like, I feel like I'm talking to myself. I know I'm not, but. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. Okay, oops, I just knocked over one of my paint bottles. Anything you guys would like me to paint along, I would be more than happy to try and accommodate you. If you want to leave me any comment about, like, anything you want to see me do. Any special colors or combination of colors. Uh, I don't know. Whatever you think up, leave me some messages. Some comments, I mean. 
I love trying new things. I'm always trying new things, so. I am willing. If you want to leave me a, a note in your comment. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, that's pretty. All right. Look at that. Wow. I'm going to turn it around for you. So you can see. I have two cups under here. Um, obviously. So, like I said, when I'm done, I'll bring the phone down. You'll get a nice close-up. You'll be able to see it a lot better. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go here. It didn't really matter. I was just trying to look at the whole layout here and see what, what I felt like I should go where. Lots of pinks and oranges and stuff. So I was trying to figure out if I wanted more pink down here or more orange down here. Decided to go with the orange. I'm gonna do some pink here. Oh, look at this, we're almost done. Hey, cool, Liam. Very cool, very cool. Love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And you see all kinds of Halloween decorations, my goodness. Like, not everything's black and scary. There's all like all sorts of cool things out there. sections here right here I'm gonna just dab those are really skinny narrow parts so it's hard to get in there This is fantastic. This is so pretty. And once it has a coat of resin on it, oh man. Whew. It's gonna be gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, let's see what I wanna do. I'm gonna do red over here. Not just red, but red is my base red. And then I'm going to put some white. And then I'm going to use Anacrodome Magenta. Then I'm going to use Magenta. And I'm almost singing. <laughs> Don't know why. <laughs> Orange. Copper and gold. Last but not least, that beautiful gold and black cell activator. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Where do you see this? I have to show you guys after I resin it somehow. I, I do have my website. Um, if you see my videos and you're wondering how it dried, go to my website. I have a lot of my stuff on there. Actually, um, that's where I list everything for sale. Most of the time, anywho. Um, if you're interested in buying something before I post it, though, you're going to have to email me or leave a comment below so that I know. Um, but if you want to see how this dried, 
that's where you will find it. And my website is also listed um, down in the description box, but just so you know, it's pizzazzstudios.com. P-I-Z-A-Z-Z -Z Studios, S-T-U-D-I-O-S.com. This is really, really cool. Man. All right. I think I'm just going to add a little dab of like some orange up here by this eye because I feel like it's pretty dark and I don't want it to be all that dark up there. I'm going to add a little orange and this gold pink here I have on my mat. This looks cool. Very cool. I'm just looking around to see what, make sure I'm finished and see if there's anything I want to change or whatnot. Wow, there's a lot of gold in here. This baby's going to shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. It's neat. It's really cool. There was a, like a light over this, a light shining down on it after it's resined and everything and dried. It's going to look so cool. So cool. Okay. Huh. You know what? I think I am done. I'm just going to do one more thing here. Well, okay. I don't want to. Oh, there we go. Okay. This all, like, flows very nicely. It doesn't look like, like, um all individual sections although it is it goes it flows it, it the sections go well nicely together they're all kind of meshed together and it looks pretty neat so let me grab my phone here out of the holder I'll bring it down for a close-up okay everybody here we go what I did is I took it off the turntable and I put it um, just on a cup with a white background so it's a lot easier to see without my, my dirty, let me show you, <laughs> without my messy, dirty turntable in the background. It's sort of really difficult to see it. So here we go. I love this. I mean, check this out. Look at these cells and look at the way the colors. Oh. Ready. Try to see if my cell phone will behave. I'm trying to make it stay in focus for you. There we go. See all the little areas I'm talking about? How like there's like all different sections, but they all blend together nicely. Let me get a little closer here. There's that rose cutout section. If you see all that gold when that dries with that copper, it's going to look phenomenal. So pretty. Really, really pretty. Very different. One of a kind, right? So, thank you for bearing with me. I'm sorry, I'm a little congested today. But go ahead, leave me any comments, suggestions, anything you want down in the comment box. Like I said, if you're interested, let me know. It is for sale, and I will resin it. And um, that will be, you know, obviously a few days for that to cure. But it's all yours if you want it. It's thin, by the way. I don't know if you can see. It's just a wooden, like an MDF wood out cutout skull. So it's thin. It's really neat. All right. Thanks, everybody. Hope you have an awesome day. And uh, I'll catch you again soon on my next video. Bye for now.